Uh, you can sit back and relax. I'm not going to talk about the flag tonight. <laughs> Do you think they'll ever get that fellow straight now? You know what I mean? All of a twist. All right, pretty good. Uh, according to those reports, the city of Wilkesbury is in financial trouble. Am I surprised? Absolutely not. It's not something that happened overnight. Now the panic button has been pushed and the city is looking for ways to alleviate the problem. Of course, one of the first suggestions is layoffs of workers. Why not the top level first? I would assume your council and mayor positions are not your main source of income. Therefore, I suggest every one of you should voluntarily take a reduction to help employees keep their jobs. As far as the business junkets are concerned, omitting them is no sacrifice. They're nothing more than camouflage vacations <coughs> under the disguise of business. Eliminate them totally. Council members' annual salary is $13,199. Broken down to 48 me uh, meetings, it amounts to roughly $300 per meeting. That's a nice piece of change. Plus medical benefits. The mayor's salary is 79911 broken down from meeting roughly $1,650 for attending these meetings. I, I like that. And the average meeting lasts probably 40 minutes to an hour. I know from past council meetings I attended, you all refused to answer questions I submitted. Nevertheless, I'm going to ask all council members who among you is willing to take a reduction in your council stipend and the same question to the mayor. No acknowledgement whatsoever? So just go with your presentation. Okay, follow up, deaf ears. And that way you could be sitting in some city workers' jobs who have families. Your further suggestions of empo our employees, for employee furloughs but no council member furloughs. Should any employee be furloughed or volunteer to do so, what guarantee does he or she have of getting her job back? Once the door is locked behind them, they can become history. In the 38 years my late wife and I were married and raised six children, we always lived within our means. Counting my three years in the military during World War II, from 1943 to the present, I have been working 69 years, full time till the age of 70. I'm still working 25 to 30 hours a week to supplement my social security. My place of employment had no retirement plan. Now you might say you're dealing with apples and oranges. Not in principle, it's the same. I think council and the mayor of the state take stock and start looking at their own income and be concerned more about the employees who have families to support. Basically, I would assume this is not your main source of income, but employees, that is their basic income, their pay. You're not under the same uh, guidelines or uh, restrictions or anything else of that nature. You have a lot of leeway. They don't. Their job is their main source to support their families. And I think you want to take that into consideration. Thank you. 